Hey, hey, hey. Hope all is well. I'm here to give you a little inform informative information for those that are melanin tone that's been in the United States. Um, um, I am D. Carey, Muskoke Creek native. And you said, oh. <laughs> yes, I'm Scope Creative by Blood, not by Friedman. And I'm here to give you knowledge because what my family went through. So, if you ever uh, pick, uh, watch any of my videos, I'll give you little hints, show you how to get sources. But if you do not have history of your great or great great or great 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 great. Or great 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 grandparents then you may need to look in other sources you're not gonna find it on the Google you're not gonna find it um, sometimes you're not gonna find it through ancestor or any of those platforms they may have documents but you have to know your information and I want to bring clarity about Ron skin tone what you see today is there's different laws that took place that's on the federal side, not your state side. State is an interference, true enough. But keep in mind that it's three separate entities uh, that plays a part in being Native American. And the reason why so many do not know where they come from or have limited resources on finding out what happened. No, everyone did not come on slave boats. Some were already here. Uh, skin tone if you go in history you can determine that skin tone changed from many tribes you gotta understand there's several tribes in the United States that are not it's not so many that is not recognized and those are recognized and originally it was only five now it's goo gobs of them rather here or another it's still I don't like I mean I like but the uh, the fact is it's a good thing and it's a bad thing to have a number stamp on you and being under the dolls or being able to uh, be cl uh, classified or registered or as a member as based on your ancestors that was part of the dolls role to me is not a good thing at all some people say well it gives you ties but no it's a lot of people they got left off keep that in mind and I um, can talk about the Freedmen and Creeks. So make sure you stay tuned. I give you our family history to let you know what's real, real. Hi, I'm back, part two. I want to cover the, about the Dolls Rose right now. And I will be giving a live feed on indigenous history or just research general on how to and tips and what I did and a, a little bit more in debt by family. Now I want to say this: uh, the doll's role is a lie, uh, and I know a lot of people uh, be so happy to be registered and stuff like that. But it gets more deeper than that once you learn about your history, about your family. Okay, the reason I say that it tells you that it's a lie when you look up the count er, the Campbells five civilized tribes they give you every breakdown of each one and they have extensive index about why they did what they did and they did it with the intent of deceit uh they the names they documented was lies that um you gotta remember the name most of the name majority of names are colonizer names most native americans that end up with their own native name usually end up with at least one name and you can tell that it's indigenous very few and usually most of the time uh, in the past, you during the Dallas period, you would see maybe the great great grandparent with their uh, native name, but most names are European names. Okay, the date of births were just was was not done right, or it was not documented. Date of deaths, partial name, partial where they're located, so it made it more complex. And they tell you that it did this. Now, the key point about all this was really behind the minerals of the earth, the land. It really was never about the Native American. When people realize it is more dead and this is existing today and it's embedded in our you, government history. 
and the state pays a big part role to this as well as federal there's three sovereignty federal and state that we're dealing with and when you talk about uh the dows the dows is a fraud even for the freedman side because they tell you this picture but it's not always true every family have their own history or their own story and a lot of it's not documented properly my family for instance i have a uncle my grandfather's uh uncle he was documented as a freedman but in fact he was native american a lot of people don't know a lot of freedmen's may have had mixed blood with other tribes that were native americans not africans uh there was is not to take away from africans or slavery a lot of, there's a misconception about the whole history about the slavery and the indians don't believe it unless you do law on indigenous this is where it all begins with all the problems with indigenous people starting with the five civilized tribes always remember the five tribes uh, it's not like they had a choice, the members, that it was only five selected persons that went before the colonizers to make this decision for all Native Americans. And even though it's saying Campbell's Abstract Creek Indian Census Card, this abstract is for Freedmen and Creek for five civilized tribes where most of indigenous people family members on now keep in mind this was uh released this was printed in 1915. now you got to understand that nothing that's in here is accurate at all and it may help some find their ancestors but you still need to probably go with your grandmother and your mother if your mother don't know go to your grandmother or your grandfather they may remember or may have information but if they were like my grandfather, he, his mother was, after she gave birth to him, they, first of all, let me track back. They incarcerated during the time that she was pregnant. And all of it was behind the land. Don't let them fool you. And she gave birth to my grandfather in, in the penal institution, the jail. And they, this is when the separation of begins with them, um, what you call guardians. Or And he had a father, keep in mind, that was Native American as well. But they separated and took the children into boarding schools, reservation boarding schools. But the fact is, keep in mind that everything that is recorded is a lie. It tells you, it documented as it, it lets you know, even in the preface section of this book that it took them over a hundred years to release. So a lot of your people information is recorded. It just ha may not have been released. Like our family names released under uh, Barack, President Barack's office term. This is when a lot of information was released for us, my family. And it's still other withheld information. And the information that was released was dealing with the family members born in the 1800s, not the ones that was born in the 1700s and 1600s. Let's get that clear. But that's why you see so many documents on different websites such and platforms like Ancestors and different platforms because the government released it to them, brother. They identified that. And for those DNA tests, they cannot tell you if you're Native American.